Chad Taylor is a world-class juggler. When he gets warped in front of our cameras, it makes the ordinary extraordinary. And transforms the truly difficult into poetry in motion. How does he do it without losing life, or best case, limb? And more importantly, for those of us playing at home, how can we do it? Oh, I had that. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna get it. Let's start with the basics. This is called the cascade, which is generally thought of as the most basic juggling pattern. All right, what's a little step above that? Uh, a little, okay, well, it'll be a little more difficult. This is called the shower. All right, that looks quite a bit more difficult. Well, it is roughly twice as fast because only one hand is throwing them up high. Looks hard, right? When we warp it down, hey, it looks easy. Now in the cascade, usually there's only one ball in the air at a time, sometimes two. When you get into the shower, there's actually moments when all three are in the air. Gravity dictates the more objects Chad has in the air, the higher he has to throw them. I'll do my three. Okay. I'd keep your eyes on the guy on the right. Yeah. All right, hit it. There we go. In this case, with seven balls thrown roughly 10 feet above his hands, there's a lot more room for error. To get it right, Chad has to keep up to six balls in the air at any given time. Not an easy thing to do. I can, oh, I can just see all my mistakes, how sloppy that is. They should be the same height there, they're not. There's a couple moments where you can actually see some of the balls on top hit each other really, really lightly. Okay, I didn't even catch that. I'm just surprised yep. that that is so much right lower. There. Wow. Okay, Chad is making this look too easy. Let's up the ante and give him more to play with. Each one is gonna go up in a double spin. Balls can be caught any old way. But when you're juggling oblong items like bats, you have to spin them precisely to grab the handle. At warp speed, this becomes a beautiful ballet. You must not be able to see anything below your neck. So no, you really yeah, have to no judge way. this way in advance. Yeah, yeah, I have to be looking right up there where they're peaking to uh, make it work for sure. Okay, Chad's got the three ball thing down. He's even got seven balls going. And he's got the bats happening. But why does he not quit when he's ahead? What would possess a man to juggle chainsaws? Well. Like so many foolhardy decisions, it all started with a paycheck. It was actually for a beer commercial, and I had two weeks to learn it. And, and the thing is, and then I got there to shoot it, and I'm firing him up, and the director's like, you don't have to start him. He says, we'll just put a sound effect over later. Well, Time Warp doesn't do sound effects. Here we go, guys. These teeth are spinning at 11,500 RPM. Replace ice chips for human flesh, and you understand why we looked at the fine print of the Time Warp insurance policy. The good news is the only thing our plan does cover is accidental dismemberment from onset chainsaw juggling. So, we're good to go. Okay, well, this is why we're actually really here. Okay, <laughs> you guys are ready. Just give you a little towel just in case. Ignore him. Okay. Keep focused, we're gonna just stay out of the way and let this happen. This is the part where we say, don't try this at home. Research suggests the people who learn to juggle have a 3% increase in gray matter. Their brains actually grow. If so, assuming we ignored Chad's decision to juggle chainsaws, he must be a genius.
Whether lightweight bats or 10-pound chainsaws, Chad's technique doesn't vary. Only the danger does. Seems like right when the ones in your left hand are coming down, it really, really puts an impact on uh, your yeah, wrist. It's I huge. I can't believe that, how well you can see that there. Wow. I mean, I always knew they were heavy, but it's really wild to see that. Somehow, this looks even more dangerous at 2,000 frames per second. If the spin isn't correct, Chad will miss the handle. But these aren't harmless bats. These have sharp, moving teeth. See a move? Even here, Chad is still not looking in his hands. By the time Chad ends his performance, 27 running chainsaws have passed within inches of his nose. Let's watch that again. Now, thanks to this warped footage, the secret of juggling is revealed. Notice Chad is looking straight ahead, never looking at his hands. He is in a zone of total concentration, total awareness, with his peripheral vision fully engaged with all of his senses keeping, well, all of his balls in the air at the same time. We talked about the increase in gray matter earlier from jugglers. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about doing this in terms of how smart it was in the beginning, but now that you got it working, I think it's a great idea. Yeah, well, the chainsaw juggling may actually decrease gray matter. I'm not sure yet. And decrease everything if it cuts the wrong place. So what have we learned? Three balls, easy. More balls, getting harder. Those pins, getting lost. Chainsaw, we'd like another beer.